Glad to have you back. You're watching TVC News Hour. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control says 21 people have died from the Lassa fever in January alone, with the latest outbreak in Africa's most populous nation. Now, different cases have been reported in 13 of 36 states, while 10 health care workers have been affected. For more on this, we have joining us in the studio a medical doctor, Tui Mabawondu. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Okay. Now, why do we still have the Lassa fever in Nigeria with 21 cases reported in January alone? We we'll still have Lassa fever in Nigeria because we're not doing what we ought to do. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget, Lassa fever is endemic in Nigeria. And as far as we choose to do what I would call fire brigade approach, we'll keep having Lassa fever. I think we're not putting this problem in the proper perspective. Let's do some true back to the history now. Now, um, in about 100 years ago, exactly 100 years ago, um, we had the flu pandemic that killed 3% of the world population. It started from a small, city, small county in Kansas City that spread around and killed 50 to 100 million people. More than all the dead from World War I, World War II, and even the bombs and bullets. Mm. So now we, we, we're seeing you know, the, 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 the challenge of having an epidemic that can kill as fast as we are seeing now. We are seeing a challenge of a epidemic that has even killed more than Ebola within the shortest period. We are seeing an epidemic that has a very ubiquitous way of transmission that maybe we've not gotten the whole uh, the scenario of transmission. We are seeing an epidemic that announces itself in hospital where the yeah, the, the health workers are domiciled. Yeah, and, so and, and equally at, at risk now. But you even said earlier on now that there's something in, in the approach because uh, some have also said it, it, it's, it's not proactive enough from the government, you know, as to their approach and the National Center too for Disease Control as against, you know, this reactive uh, response we have been getting. We, we, listen, we've had this thing for how many years? Last year we were talking about last year epidemics. epidemic. This year we're talking Again. about last year epidemic. Are we going to be talking about last year epidemic? To, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, next year. The thing is this, even then, when the, 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 the Spanish flu, as was popularly called then, hit the world that was killing 3% of the world population, in fact, all, real measures had to be taken into cognizance to arrest it, including closing schools, including, you know, um, criminalizing dirt, you know, if you, you know and imposing hand wash. Mm. You know, you know, when we have challenges, we need to be able to really explore the situation and ensure that we address the challenges head on. Now, what is wrong with, with us for now bringing out again the sanitary inspectors right. to look and, in, 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 you know, push for some things? Mm. What is wrong in, in instituting hand wash around the country? What is wrong in pushing for hygiene and making it a, a crime for anybody that chooses mm. to violate those hygiene rules? What mm. is wrong for us, in, in us now looking at our dirt? Why can't we then go into the community and pick rats and check the rat before and find out whether the rat is also having the virus before it gets to human? So what is, even in terms of our own expansion... And by these rats, you mean, of course, the, the dead... Even live rats. No, okay. Even, even, like live, rats. even oh, yeah. live, live rats. You know, why can't we even go to that level? Yes, we are not having... There are no jobs in the country. Why can't we even use this approach to create jobs for people? When there are problems, there, there are a lot of opportunities. But what we see is that at the end of the day, all of us sit down, we talk about people dying, then we will go to bed. And, I, and it was so embarrassing that we saw the health minister blaming doctors for the or health workers for the transmission for the new uh, epidemic of Ebola. What, do, what does he want them to do? Let's look at the function of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control now. What is its function? I mean, you've just mentioned um, going on the street and picking out rats and then testing them. What are its functions and are they doing enough? Again, you see, the, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, within the ambit of what they have, they're trying to stretch themselves. Don't, don't forget that even the law that's supposed to establish the Nigeria uh, Center for Disease Control has not been signed. The bill has not been signed into law. Mm. So they cannot even draw directly from, from the federal post to run their project. They have to rely on donors. They have to rely on ministry budget. Okay? So such a critical um, institution should have been required in such a way to be able to perform its function, not, not only in terms of money, but in terms of human resources by recruiting and incentivizing those people that's going to work in those kind of institutions. Now, and, and then, you see, every time we come here, and I said that we need to have you know, a future fund for epidemic preparedness. We shouldn't wait until the epidemic creeps on us and then we start wondering where mm. to get money. We should have set up such a thing so that in this preparedness includes even surveillance. 
even including going to the community, including harnessing the work of the farmers, harnessing mm -hmm. the villagers, going to the local level, and even uh, you know replicating a, sem a semblance of center for disease control, even at Across, the local right. local government mm -hmm. level. Even at no, I'm not talking about the state now. There's, there's those in the state. Even at the level of local government, a semblance of it, and looking at those critical places where the highest park, where these things are likely to jump from human. Uh, from animal to human. Yeah. So Look, we, we, we need that kind of thwarting. We cannot then just wake up and be waiting and, or praying for next epidemic not to come. Mm. Or uh, when it comes now, we start running health tests. Fire center, brigade. Creating, um, uh, uh, talking center. about sanitation now, um, you, you, um, Lawanson is a site for sore eyes. You should see the refuse, refuse, refuse you know, dumps. dumped La Lawanson everywhere along one. Lawanson mm -hmm. in Lagos. And it's that's just uneven, one. Yeah. But that site is deplorable. Tuyi Mabawadu, medical doctor, thank you for joining us thank on you. TVC News.